watching that was, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm going to be the first act tonight that's going to address the white elephant in the room. Give us a cheer. Yay! What the fuck is the score with this rock? Are you all well? Are you well? Hello! Say hello! Be, be fucking enthusiastic and cheerful. Come on. Hello! Hello on this side. Two people. Hello on this side. That's much fucking better than you. Hello in the back! Hello, Hello in that back! <laughs> Call her back! Hello. She's quite nice, I'm quite like her. I'm far too cheerful. I had a fucking terrible day today. I think I've killed everybody I bumped into. My cat died. Oh. Fuck, that sympathy's overwhelming, is it? No! Cat died, did it? What did he do? He's been a bin. Really bin. My cat died. Oh. Right enough, I shouldn't have parked the car up at Sarge at 60 mile an hour. I went to see Great Expectations. It's disappointing. <laughs> Bond. James Bond. 007. License to kill. I applied for one of those licenses. Passed the theory. Failed the practical. Told me I should practice more. Um, so I passed my driving test recently. I'm now in, like, in possession of the Scottmobile and it's my pride and joy. And uh, yeah, the Scottmobile. Um, <laughs> the red stallion the Scottmobile if you really want to go that far. Because uh, it's red. It's excellent. I love it. So I love having OCD. I'm so anal about my OCD and my hemorrhoids are arranged in neat little piles. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you get hypnotised just before umpiring a tennis match between Paul McKenna and Darren Brown? That's exactly what happened to me last week. And no matter how poorly they served, I couldn't fault them. Um, I like one night stands, right? They're weird thing, they're strange. Um, they're sort of, there's something you do for fun that carries quite a high risk of disease. Nothing else would you do for fun that carries this high risk of disease. Like, if you came up to me and went, do you want a bit of cake? And I'd go, yeah, I'd love a bit of cake, a nice bit of cake, cheers. If you came up to me and went, do you want a bit of cake that might give you a disease? I'd say, hmm, I think I might go with a chomp, right? And uh, <laughs> there's strange situations to have, right? Because, especially if the person you're having it with is a bit shy at it, right? You'll know if you've ever had them that this is quite awkward. And it's not their fault, they're awkward, you're there, she's there, obviously she's there, otherwise it'd just be a wank, right, you know? <laughs> and uh, you're there, she's there, she's trying to get away, you're trying to hold her down, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Why is it when I walk up them Fries High Street, old women feel the need to come up to me and ask me a range of bizarre questions? Always starts like this. Is that baby yours? No, I just got really lucky in a holiday resort in Portugal. <laughs> really? He, see, he's just the military uh, totally bolstered up because he said I'm a qualified pole dancer, so you thought I was going to come out here and be a hot, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Right? She couldn't fucking put a dildo up that tight fanny, let alone wrap it around a pole. Um, I, I'm going to pre-warn you, I'm the type of stand-up, if you don't feel violated after I've been on, I've not done it right. So strap yourselves in, this is about to happen. My mum is always asking me to go with her to the supermarket. She doesn't need help with the shopping, she just likes parking in the parent and child spaces. <laughs> I'd like to point out just now, right, point out just now, you know a one night stand's gone badly when you take someone back to your house and you consider doing a fucking runner <laughs> from your own fucking house, right? That's exactly what happened to me last week. Are we all prepared? Yeah. But for the big man there, his face fucking stain. It's <laughs> my boss. He caught me slagging off my work uh, when I was doing comedy. He sat me down and I'm now facing disciplinary action. So he said to me, Scott, see when you're doing comedy, you can only, like, when you're slagging off your work, you can only hint at where you work by, say, giving the initials of the restaurant. So I'm working in a K. F. C. <laughs> My wife, Mrs. P, she put her hair in a bun last weekend. Yet another reason not to try her home baking. <laughs> she also treated herself to one of these newfangled rape alarms. It goes off every morning at 7 o'clock and then she climbs on top of me whether I want it or not. <laughs> a guilty pleasure, lady. 
the conversation does take a, a turn for the worse though. Oh, he's cute, isn't he? He must get his looks from his mommy. Thanks for that, you fucking cow. <laughs> yeah, right, he does get his looks from his mother because she also has one tooth and a squint. <laughs> you look really sad about that there, as a fuck I bet she does. Really? Right, I know, hard to believe here on a Tuesday night in Dumfries. It's fucking show guys is mental. Um, <laughs> Do you ever get to that point in your life where you just think, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I've not bite them, honest the fuck.